Hi everyone, it's Jenny. We're gonna work into some strong core today. So do make sure you have a yoga block or two. And if you need, or if you don't have yoga blocks, you can always just use books or something like that. And that's totally acceptable as well. So let's come on down to the floor. We're gonna get started in a child's pose today. Come on down. And just take the arms forward for a moment, simply noticing the breath. Pull tension to the fingers as the chest reaches toward the earth. Giving a good stretch to the shoulders to begin. And we'll walk the arms on over to the right. And back through center over to the left. center let's come on up to your table pose and just to mobilize the spine as well as your core get in there let's find cat and cow inhale tail up chin up exhale curl in inhale lift tail lift chin exhale round again inhale from your core to pick it up exhale from your core push it away good inhale Exhale, and again, inhale, and exhale. So come on back to center. We're going to pick up the right leg out to the side, and we're going to do 10 clamshell lifts, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's your core doing? Eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there for five, four, three, two, and one. Just simply dropping that leg down. A little bit of fire for that booty. Let's do the other side. Picking up the left leg out to the side for some clamshells over here. Draw belly in for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Let's take the right leg back. Inhale. Let's point and flex that lifted foot for five, four, good. Three, try to get super straight, pull belly in, two. Big inhale on one, and exhale, bring it down. Let's do other side, point and flex the foot for five. Four, three, two. Big inhale on one, exhale, lower. Right leg once again, we're gonna pump it up and down. Use your booty for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up as high as you can go. Push into your standing knee for five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Other side. Picking up left leg up and down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up as high as you can go for five. Good. Push into standing knee. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Cross at the knees. Sit it on the back. A little cross leg. Child's pose. back to table, right leg up, inhale, exhale, knees down, left leg, inhale, pick it up, 
Exhale, cross the knees, cross leg, child's pose. the table. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it down. Staying on your left knee, spin it open to a little supported side plank. So let's just give it a stretch first. Take lifted arm past your ear. Try to push through the right foot. And just take a big inhale. Really feel a nice right side body stretch. And exhale. We'll take lifted hand either to the sky or you could have the hand on the hip. We're gonna push through that left knee to pick up the right leg. Oh yes, you know we're going here. Here we go, up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it up for 5, 4, 3, good, 2, and one, release it down. We're simply going to switch sides. Pushing the right knee now into the floor. Left arm past your ear. Give it a stretch. Good. Big inhale. Stretch it up. And exhale. Either arm to 12 o'clock or the hand to the hip. Here we go. Pick up that leg and pulse it for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Come on back to table pose. We're going to lift into a downward dog. Pick it on up. Paddle it up. Noticing shoulders. Noticing tailbone. Turning the tailbone upward toward the sky, opening up your shoulders, opening up your hamstrings. And then tuck your tailbone under, find your core. Good. So let's look forward. We'll step up to the top edge of your mat to lift halfway up. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Let's take a few cycles of sun salutations. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, opening into your back bend. And exhale, rising to downward dog. Good. So, you know, they're just obligatory, right? We're working to open. We're working to build strength. As well as find the stability from within. Take an inhale, lift up heels. Exhale, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Rise halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Let's do it again, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, open to your back bend, down dog, exhale. Good, try to sink everything together, engaging the body to make the movement possible. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway rise. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Let's do it again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Lowering down. Inhale to back bend of choice. Downward dog, exhale. Good, I do have my socks on. It's a little challenging to be moving through yoga with socks on, so I do recommend taking them off. I guess I forgot, but that's okay. <laughs> Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, look forward. Step or jump on up to the top. Halfway rise. Inhale, exhale, fold. Good, let's find a chair pose. So in your chair pose, let's bring the palms together in front of the heart. Squeeze your thighs together. We're gonna pick up your heels and lower your heels times 10. So find a lot of action happening in your core. Here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, hold it up for five, four, three, two. We're going to stand all the way up on one, so push into your toes. Inhale to stand, and exhale, heels down, take the arms by your sides. Good, we're going to step back with your left leg, heading into lunges. So just finding your lunge, keep it easy for the moment. Working the square hip points forward. And let's take your back knee toward the floor times 10. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's hold it nice and low for 5, 4, Three, two, good. Listen, on one, we're going to stand up on standing leg and kick and bring it back to lunge. So let's just try five, okay? They're easier said than done, but just take your time with it. Keep your drishti, your gaze point on something that's not moving. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, step it back. Take your time. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step it back. One more. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, step it back. Go a little lower. Straighten back leg. Let's lift the arms to stretch it for five, four, three, two. Good. Big inhale on one. Really lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step it back. We're going to take five push ups here. Feel free to drop your knees for one. Two, three, four, five. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing. Good. Paddle it out. Notice what's going on. We got to do the other side. So look forward, step or jump on up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up, and exhale the arms, maybe palms together, maybe arms by your side. We're going to step back with your right leg. Steady into your lunge, keeping it simple. Stretching into the front of the right hip, stretching into the front of the right quads. And here we go, back knee toward the floor for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it low, hover it for five, four, three, two, one, we're going to do those lunge kicks, so just be careful, step in the front foot, Inhale, pick it up and kick. Exhale, step it back to lunge. Inhale, press it up and kick. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, kick. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, kick. Exhale, step it back. One more. Inhale, kick. Exhale, step it back. Go a little lower. Try to straighten your back leg and extend the arms for five, four, Three, two, big inhale on one, exhale the hands down, let's step it on back, five more push-ups, for five, four, three, two, one, chaturanga, inhale upward dog, and exhale downward dog, good, nice. So go ahead, look forward. We're going to step or jump through to your seat. And we're going to take some dips. So with the hands behind you, you can always bend your knees and do reverse table dips. That's totally fine. Or reverse plank dips. I love these. These are fun for me. So I have socks. I'm actually going to take them off. Otherwise, my feet will probably move around. Okay, here we go. Do internally rotate the shoulders. Do tuck your bum and lift your chest. And that sets you up for an appropriate Purvotanasana or the reverse plank. Here we go to lift. 
So just simply hold your reverse plank for a moment for five, four, again this can be reverse table, three, two, and a one, look forward and we're going to bend the elbows down and pick it back up. Here we go for ten. One, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it low, no butt on the floor though, for five, four, three, two, good, one, pick it up, for five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down, <laughs> really good job. So let's do a quick little shoulder stretch. Take the right arm past your chest, just a little stretch here. Good, and then we'll take it up and around, little stretch here. Left arm, here we go, across the chest, stretch it out. Nice, and left arm up and around, stretch here, good. Nice, so release it, just take a hold of it, relax fingers behind your back, lift the chest, take an inhale, chin up, and exhale the chin down. And inhale, come back up. And exhale, release the arms. Good. Okay, so grab your block. One block, please. Or a book. We're going to lower down and do a bunch of bridge pulses and a whole bunch of core work with this block. So if you start to get tired at any time, just level it down a little bit. I'll offer a few suggestions. But first, we're going to take the bridge pulses. So bring that block between your thighs. Lower down to the earth. Hands by your sides. Go ahead, pick up the hips, and just notice how bridge pose feels right now. And if you'd like to interlace fingers and, you know, push the shoulders into the floor a little deeper, more of a um, traditional bridge pose, you can do that. But just notice how it feels to grab a hold of that block and squeeze it like crazy. Maybe you have to feed your feet in a little closer to each other. Good, take an inhale, lift a little more, and exhale, we're going to dip the hips down. Inhale, pick it back up. Exhale, dip. Let's do it again. Inhale up, squeeze that block. Exhale, dip. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale lower, inhale lift, exhale lower, inhale up, exhale down, inhale high, exhale drop, inhale up, exhale down, inhale lift, exhale lower, inhale up, exhale down, inhale lift, exhale lower, you're squeezing, right? <laughs> inhale lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and hold it for five, four, really squeeze that block, three, squeeze the shoulder blades together, two, big inhale on one, and exhale, let's release, come on down, release the block, take a little figure four, right ankle over the left knee, feed it in. Switch sides, so just take your time on that. Nice, feeding it in. Working your ujjayi breathing. Good. 
Really nice. Let's kick it on down. Good. So we're going to take the right leg to the sky. We're actually going to feed the hands, interlace the fingers behind your calf muscle. And we're going to take your lifted leg and try to push it to the floor using your leg muscles. So that literally means if I were to let go of my hands, my leg would crash to the floor. Okay? So going ahead, push into the hands hard for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's straighten your left leg. Pull the right leg closer to the face for five, four, good, three, looking good, two, keep that left leg straight, and one. Let's release the leg, hands by the floor. We're going to pick up and down that leg. Try to use your core, suck the low belly in for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna switch legs. Good. Hanging on to the left calf muscle. Pushing the left leg into the hands hard. Here we go. For five, four. If you're doing it really well, you might be shaking a little bit. I am. Three. Two, good, and one, we're going to take that right leg straight, pull the left leg closer to the face, for five, four, try to straighten the legs, three, pull it in, two, looking good, and one, release, hands to the floor, up and down with this lifted leg, for one, two, use your core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Both legs up, inhale, and exhale. Let's come up into your little Navasana hold for five, four, three, two, Good one, taking the forearms to the floor behind you. Lift the legs, inhale, exhale, right leg lowers, and we're gonna cross, okay? So it's kind of a weird thing. Think about scissoring the inner thighs in toward each other. Hold it here for five. Try to squeeze the inner thighs toward each other. Four, three, keep the legs engaged, two, one, uncross, inhale, right leg up, exhale, left leg down, Cross the legs a little bit. Squeeze the inner thighs. For five. Lift the chest. Four. Notice what's happening. Three. Maybe your core is on fire. That makes sense. Two. And one. Unravel. Inhale. Left leg up. Exhale. Hover the legs. For five. Four. Three. Two. Listen on one. Roll over to your left. Side. Try not to land on your bone. Keep the legs lifted, elbow on the floor. You can press your right hand also into the floor or the right arm can lift. Up to you. Lifting and lowering upper leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep that other leg lifted too. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're going to come back to your low bow hold for five, four, three, two, and one, roll over to the right, right forearm on the floor. Keep the legs lifted, notice what you need, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Come back to your boat hold for five, four. Staying low if you need it. Three, I like low. Two, one. Rolling to the left. We're going to do it again. Elbow on the floor. Upper leg for ten, nine. Notice your obliques. Eight, seven. Really working, right? Six, five. Four, three, smile, 
two, good. And a one, rotate back to low boat hold for five. You can always have your elbows on the floor. Four, don't let your low back lift you. Three, two, one, over to the right. Here we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to center one more time for five, four, three, two, one. Lower on down. Grab that block once again. We're doing bridge pulses. We're going to 20 once again. So let's squeeze that block. Really squeeze to lift and squeeze to lower. That's how you're actually going to engage and find the strength that we need in our glutes. So pick it up, maybe interlace fingers, just hold it for five, squeeze block, four, push shoulders into floor, three, two, and one, here we go to pulse for one, two, three, four, try to squeeze your whole center, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, lift for five, four, squeeze that block, three, two, and one, release. Again, little figure four, right ankle over left knee, feed it in. Maybe this time rock a little from side to side. Good, we're gonna take your figure four legs over to your left for a twist. Grounding the opposite shoulder. Look away from the legs. And bring it back to center. Hug it in. Figure four legs still. Good. And we'll slowly release. Let's switch sides. Left leg in figure four, hold it in, maybe rock a little bit. Good, we're going to take your figure four legs over to your right. Grounding left shoulder, a little supine twist. In figure four legs, it's kind of interesting, but you might notice a deeper stretch for the outer hip, and that's where we're trying to hit. So just relaxing for a moment. Nice, bring it back to center, figure four legs, pull it in a little tighter, just lifting through the chest, lifting the belly in, take a nice inhale, and exhale, release, really good job. So we're going to do one more thing, it's kind of weird and fun at the same time, um, neurologically it's a reset, so we call it dead bug in yoga, with the legs and the arms lifted, and then we're going to flail everything around as fast as we can, and I know it's weird. Okay, but I'm just going to count backwards from 10, and then we're going to drop it down. So do your very best to get super flaily. Okay, that's the purpose here. So here we go, arms and legs up, and here we go to move for 10, 9, flop around, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, go a little faster, 3, 2, and one, release it however you need to come down is totally fine. 
Let's take the arms past the crown. Stretch it out. You can take the legs long on the floor if they're not already. Stretch it out. Pushing the upper back and the low back into the ground if you can. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring it all in. Let's rock it on up to your seat. Quick little mermaid stretch. So one thigh out, one thigh in. I've got my right knee pointed forward and my left knee pointed to the left. We're just going to take a little twist. back through center, switching sides, a little twist, good, and inhale back to center, cross legs, thanks everyone so much for being here today, hopefully your booty didn't get too burnt, hopefully your core didn't find too much of a flame. But if so, try this video again, try this workout again, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, see if it gets a little easier. And we'll see you all soon.